Welcome to the core shred. You're going to be burning a lot of calories and we're going to shrink the belly fat and release your six pack. Here we go. Start with our hip hurdles. So you're starting with the feet, hip width apart, feet parallel, then pick up one knee, step right next to you, rotating your hip out and stepping back. You're stepping over an imaginary obstacle. Make sure you're using your arms. This should be nice and easy because we're doing a warm up. So no need to force anything. We want to warm up your hips and your spine a little bit. And of course, we want to get those shoulders moving. So don't contract too much in the shoulder girdle. Just stay nice and easy up there. Wonderful. Here we go. Warming up our spine from plank to V. So push back with your hips into V pose, then roll forward into plank position. Again, push back into V pose, then crunch, suck the belly bottom in and come forward again. Very good. So when you come forward, imagine you crushing like a wave onto the shore, making yourself as round as possible. So every repetition that you do, I want you to become even more rounded. When you're finally arriving forward, I want you to be straight again. So head shooting forward, shoulders back and down, navel in. Now get those legs active, push into your heel and push those legs back. Wonderful, well done. Getting warmed up already. Some are warming up for the legs. We're gonna go into a nice and easy squat and then lifting on those toes, on the balls of the feet. Here we go. Squat and lift. Now watch those arms. The arms go forward and back. Go forward and back. Very nice. When you're lifting, pull the arms back. If you want to work your shoulders a little bit and work the upper back, then pull the shoulder blades together and down when you're coming up. Very nice. Push those hips back and down. You can stay with your feet either hip width apart, toes slightly turned out, or further apart than your hips. Your choice, whatever feels good. When you go down though, go as low as your knees. Go really low and come back up. Go really low, last time. Yes, very nice. Spinal rotation, very important. We're gonna be doing a lot of rotation for the obliques. So get into a wide squat, get real low, and then rotate your shoulder into the middle, look over the other shoulder, and come back. Now push those hands against your knees so that you have a little bit of resistance there. Pull the navel in. Now arch your lower back slightly to elongate your spine and free your spine so your spine can twist. Very nice. Come back into the middle. Stay as low as you can with your pelvis. Ideally, you're staying knee height. Very nice. And again, come back. Last time, shoulder comes into the middle and looking over the shoulder. And here we go. High knee, that means the knee is hip height and we're jumping from one leg to the other as easy as that. Here we go. And if you do those correctly, your lower abs, your ab, your tummy will start to hurt. So this is a great ab workout. I get really great abs just from running with high knee. So get those knees up. And also the arms, very important. Can't stress this enough because by rotating the upper body, left and right, contralaterally, left arm goes front, left knee goes front, then you will work your obliques, which are the lateral muscles that go diagonally. And this is really sexy, so go for it. Pick those knees up, it's three more seconds for your abs. Well done, here we go. First jump, squat jumps. We're going low into squat and then bringing those arms up, extending and jumping, let's go. Squat and jump. Arms go up and with this arm movement, you're trying to lift yourself up as high as possible. 
get right back onto the ground, as little ground time as possible and as much air time as you can. This is also a great upper back workout and real shoulder workout for the posterior deltoids because we're working our arm muscles here. Very good. Don't give up. Get those hips as low as knee height, possibly lower. Challenge yourself to go as low as you can. We're gonna alternate cardio and core work. Cardio and core. And this was cardio. Here we go for core, around the world. Plank position, then we're gonna start. Right arm, left arm, right leg and left leg. Then switch, left arm, right arm left leg and then the right leg and the challenge is to always stay parallel to the ground with your hip points and your shoulders to pull your navel in and pull those hip points together as if fitting into the tightest pens ever so your core stays solid while you're moving the arms and the legs so guess what the arms and the legs are not what's important here the most important is the stability in your core. This is a super woman and man workout. Well done. Here we go back to our cardio dropouts. We're standing feet parallel and jumping out, grabbing the floor with one hand in the middle and jumping right back into the middle. A little bit like a jumping jack, but with grabbing the floor in the middle. Could call those floor grabs or jump out floor grabs. When you jump out, turn those toes slightly outside so the knee and the toes stay in the same line. And don't hurt yourself with this hand in the middle. It's just a slight touch. If you are afraid of bending your fingers, then just don't do it and just do as if. Upper body goes down and up to get this extension. This is gonna work the whole back chain, which is our glutes and hamstrings. And back to core. Again, plank position. This time we're crossing over the knee to the elbow. Cross over, knee to the opposite elbow. You need to do a slight push down so the elbows bend. Ideally, elbows bend backwards into a triceps press. Now, in the plank position, make sure to stay connected with your shoulders. The shoulder blades are sliding down your ribcage to your hips and not sliding up to your ears. So always have a lot of space between your shoulders and your ears. Neck and head stay very long. Very good. Do a few more twists, left and right. Knee is going into the direction of the elbow. Three more seconds. You can do this. And get back up. Here's the next card you want. Lateral lunges. We're stepping out. And again, we're grabbing the floor. Step out and come back, feet parallel. Again, you are shifting your weight forward. So you're bending forward. You can grab the floor if you want to. You don't have to though. Now, when you're stepping out, make the step as wide as you can, but as narrow as you can, so you're getting right back up. Again, as little ground time as possible, as quickly coming back into the center as you can. Arms are changing. One arm goes forward, one arm goes back. Again, we're trying to have a little bit of rotation here in the shoulders, so we're training the obliques. So we're doing cardio and core at the same time. Well done. Get back onto the ground. Here's a funny one. It's called the ski steps or ski hopper in the advanced version coming up soon. So you start in plank, marching out to your right and then marching back into plank and then marching out to the left. Try it. So the intention is to come all the way next to your hands Step forward, touch down, step backwards. Step forward, touch, and step backwards. If this is too close to you or for you, only step halfway, that's totally fine. But try to do a few ones where you're stepping really close next to your hands on the outside. When you're stepping forward, have a look at my head. 
I'm going down with the nose to my knee so the head stays in line with the spine. Make yourself really round and this will release the neck tension. Very good. Coming back up, cardio, firing up those legs. We're gonna do switch lunges and this is advanced. So I want you to be really quick, starting in lunge position and shifting the legs underneath you. Just switch the leg, switch the leg, switch the leg. Other body is doing the same. Arms are going forward, forward and forward. We're having a little bit of an accent, a pause when we're in the lunges. Just try not to hit your knee. You could get a bit overexcited about this one. The idea of these switch lunges is that the head is staying on the same line. So you're not jumping all the way up like in jump lunges. We're doing switch lunges, that means shoulder and head are staying more or less approximately on the same line. And this is what's so challenging for the core because we need to be really, really quick, otherwise we're gonna land on our knees. We don't want that. Come back into plank. This one is an easy one, so you can get a breather. An intermediate plank jacks. So start in plank position and then simply open and close the legs, jumping out and in, jumping out and in. Now what I would like you to focus on is your core, obviously, but especially your hips. Don't sag in the hips. This could be all too easy to just focus on the legs jumping out and in. Out and in is fine, but I would like you to have your hips shoulder height always without sagging. So have a natural curve in your spine, a little bit of an arch if possible in your lower back and keep your shoulders in. Shoulder blades sliding down your rib cage and away from your ears. Pull the shoulder blades towards the spine to help you protect your neck. Very good. And get back up. This is a fun one. We're gonna rotate, chop rotation. Just imagine you having a rope in your hand that you're pulling left to right. And I would like you to rotate your feet first. So feet rotate and the upper body follows. Feet, 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 feet. Make sure to rotate on both feet so you don't twist your knee. So the foot, the back foot rotates on the ball of the foot and the front foot is staying on the whole foot. A little bit of a lunge here, lunge switch, lunge switch and we're rotating. If you want, you can use a little bit of weight, but it's not necessary here. We can do every exercise without additional weight. And if you need more of a challenge, you can always go faster. Yay! Release. Relax for 10 seconds. Here we go back into plank position for the core. Next core one is stepping climber. So we're starting in plank position and then just stepping forward into forward fold basically and stepping back into plank. It's a bit like the ski stepper or hopper, but this time we're stepping into the middle and we're not going out. Again, for the head, when you're down in forward fold, bring the nose to the knee just to release the neck for a second or two and then step back again into plank. When you start to get tired, your hips might start to sag. So don't do that. You can always step back less wide or less far. Everything that prevents your hips from sagging. So I want you to contract your core, have the hips approximately shoulder height. Well done, get back up. We're doing another cardio. Here we go, three steps sideways. This is a drill that challenges your coordination a little bit. So we're going out, out, out out and the knee comes, knee comes, knee comes, knee comes. The arms come contralaterally, diagonally to the knee. And we go here, 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 here. here. If you don't get the knee, don't worry too much. Just do the quick feet and try to pick up the knee every now and then so you get a little bit of a jump. Very good. And if you pick the knee up, this also challenges your core very nicely. Pull through, rotating the shoulders so we can work these oblique muscles, rotating the spine. Very good. Nice music. Hey, back into plank. Kick out rotation. Now this is the advanced version, a little bit of a bonus. 
try to kick the whole leg out. So not just the knee trying to reach the elbow, but this time stretch out your leg. So you do kind of a kick through in the rotation. I know this is super hardcore. If you don't manage, just do the intermediate version with the knee to the elbow, but try if you want. You will feel so proud of yourself if you manage doing this. And this is such an amazing workout to try and train yourself on. Make sure that you're bending your elbows. So we're doing a little bit of a triceps push up here, but make sure that your shoulders are not coming forward. We tend to do that when we're tired, that we try to hunch forward and contract our abs and our chest too much, but keep the chest open, shoulder blades towards the spine and get back up into butt kicks. Another cardio one, we're almost there. Just a few more. Here we go, butt kicks. Pick those heels up. The heels are going in the direction of your hip. The legs are just jumping from one leg to the other. And we're trying to get as much air time as possible at as low, as little touchdown as possible. Arms go contralaterally. So this is supposed to be your cardio. So you don't need to go all full out. I just want to keep the intensity up and of course also relax your shoulders a little bit because we are doing a lot of plank poses and your wrists, elbows or shoulders might hurt a little. So make this nice and easy for you so you're ready to go again for the next plank. And another bonus, so this is the advanced version of the ski stepper which is the ski hopper. Try this. It looks worse than it is because the jump forward is really supported by those arms. And if you were able to come this far, you can do this. So jump forward, jump back, jump forward, jump back. Simply this time you're jumping out to the right and out to the left and out to the right and out to the left. Now for the head, here I chose to look towards my feet just to make sure I'm not jumping onto my hands. That will hurt a bit and make sure that you're really bouncing. The bouncing is a good solution when you're starting to get tired, so you're not sagging in the hips because the knees are bent and it's preventing your hips from going too low. Make sure your shoulders stay in and you're almost there. Just two more exercises, but before we have the last one, we have a nice little breather here in wide squat rotation. So you can put the hands onto the inside of your knees, the hips are really low, ideally knee height, and then simply press one side into the middle, push one shoulder low, and look over the other shoulder, come back into the middle, breathe in, breathe out, rotate one shoulder in, breathe in, come back, breathe out, rotate, look over the shoulder, and breathe in, come back into the center. Try to calm your breath a little bit. There's one more jumping exercise coming up before we do a little bit of stretching. And five more seconds to enjoy. Here we go. We're gonna do some jumping climber. So if you're familiar with the ski hops and you can do ski hopping to right and left and jumping climber is absolutely no problem for you. We're jumping forward and backward as easy as this. So this is just a jump out of the burpee. We're not getting up, we don't do the push up. We're just doing the jump back and the jump forward. And this is great for the belly because we're just focusing here on contraction when you jump back in the plank and pulling those legs towards the chest. For the neck, bring the head in so that the neck can relax for a little while. If you would pull the neck up the whole time, that would be too much contraction in the back of your neck. Come on, pull through. Seven more seconds. It's the last exercise, cardio and core at the same time. Oh my God, well done. You made it. Here we go, some stretching, some nice music. You're simply gonna lean onto our left side. So grab your right hand with the left hand Cross your right back, your right leg behind, and make a C shape with your body while slowly calming your breath, breathing slower and slower, exhaling really deeply, getting the oxygen in, 
I hope you're working out outdoors. If not, maybe open a window, get some oxygen, get some air in, and lean over even further every time you exhale. Make sure you're staying in one line, shoulders above the hips. And then slowly release, get the leg back out and step over to the other side. Grab your left hand with the right hand, cross the leg, left leg behind the right leg and with C shaping over to the right hand side. Bring the head into the movement so your right ear is reaching towards the ground. Now push your left heel into the ground and try to lift your little pinky finger of your left hand so you can really extend that whole side. Breathe out, try to reach further. Every time you exhale, staying on one line, shoulders above the hips and slowly come up and step back out very nice chest opening we've done a lot of planks so grab your hands behind your back lift the arms up a few centimeters off the sacrum try to lift the chest bones then tall eyes are gazing towards the horizon imagine a crown on the top of your head that you're pushing towards the sky. Plant your heels into the ground, standing tall, strong foundation. And then lift the arms a little further, still lifting your chest. So you're not hunching forward, but just trying to raise those elbows a little higher. Keep breathing, deep inhale, and exhale and release very nice for the legs balance pose stand on your left leg grab your right foot either with one hand or with both then close both knees so that the thighs are parallel and slightly contract your glutes as to push your hips forward and now again open the chest this is actually a combined chest stretch hip opener and quad stretch combined with the balance pose <laughs> again look at the horizon put a crown on top of your head reach very tall plant your heel into the ground pushing the hips forward checking that those thighs are still parallel knees on the same height and slowly release maybe bend the knee let the leg go and change to the other side balance on the right leg then lift your left foot grab the foot either with one hand or with both and then get into that nice standing stretch bringing the thighs into parallel position knees close to each other then contract your glutes your butt and push the hips forward this might Pull a bit more and then resist hunching forward but lift your chest up lift the nose gaze to the horizon put a crown on top of your head very nice have a bit of a smile you are doing great this was a great workout celebrate yourself and thank you very much for joining i hope this was as exciting for you as it was for me. Amazing workout. So leave some comments below if you liked it. And I hope to see you very soon for the next workout. Bye.